Well, after lawsuits surrounding personal data flooded the news in the past year, states are finding new ways to fight the growing threat of data breaches. Fox News Chief Correspondent Jonathan Hunt has the latest on new laws, which are set to change the landscape in the year 2020. California's 2020 vision is that consumers will be able to see a lot more clearly exactly what personal data companies are keeping and allow those consumers to ask the companies to delete their personal information and not sell it. It's the nation's most far-reaching data privacy law aimed at social media giants like Facebook, of course, but also at any large company based anywhere in the country and doing online business with California customers. California is also wading into the growing gig economy, making it more difficult for companies to treat workers like contractors instead of employees who are entitled to minimum wage and other benefits such as workers' comp. Uber and other companies are challenging the law in the courts and say if they lose there, they'll fight it at the ballot box come November. The new year is also bringing new registration charges for the owners of electric vehicles in many states. $200 in Alabama and Ohio, for instance. $100 in Kansas. Iowa, Oregon and Utah are also raising their EV fees. Electric vehicle sales are predicted to climb quickly in the next few years, and states want to find a way to make up for the inevitable dip in gas tax revenue as a result. With mass shootings so prevalent in 2019, Colorado has enacted a red flag law that allows family members or law enforcement officers to petition a court to have guns seized from people deemed a threat to themselves or others. Colorado Governor Jared Polis is a supporter of the law, but it's faced pushback from some of those who would have to enforce it. The root problem is not the firearms. The root problem is a tsunami of mental health issues, acute mental health crisis we see on a daily basis. They did almost nothing to address it. With immigration set to be a major issue in the 2020 presidential election, Arkansas and Tennessee will now both withhold state funding from any so-called sanctuary cities that don't cooperate with federal immigration authorities. Among other notable new laws, recreational marijuana use is now legal in Illinois. And if you're in Vermont, you can no longer throw away food. Composting is mandatory. In Los Angeles, Jonathan Hunt, Fox News.